Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, in this video I am going to show you how to use document visualizer. So friends, this is Altop 9802 document visualizer. And you will see here, this is the camera and it is covered with a shutter so that camera will be remain protected see this is the camera you can also rotate this like this you can rotate the camera or adjust the camera you can also use this camera to record audio and video also. The feature, basic feature of this document visualizer is it is a full HD 1080 output resolution and 22 by 26 optical zoom 10x digital zoom 12 volt low voltage power supply adapter freely retrachable ultra thin appearance size long life LED lighting system adapted and waterproof dustproof touch control panel display PC signal when visualizer closed simple multimedia control functions card slot for remote controller image switch to word excel ppt record video and save in avi format single or continuous image capturing so these are the basic features of this 980, 9820 document visualizer. Also going to show you the back side of this scanner. See, this is the this is the back side of the scanner. Here you will see VGA port, VGA in and VGA out, two VGA ports. You can also see here two HDMI port, HDMI in and HDMI out. USB port, LAN port also there, this is the power port, this is the mic in, you can so that you can record your audio and video. As you see this is the touch control, control area, so that you can control the uh, document visualizer. See this is the power button, PGA source visualizer and you will see here zoom plus you can increase the zoom by tapping this button and you can decrease the zoom by tapping this button zoom minus you can increase the brightness by pressing this button and this is the decrease the mine and decrease the brightness using this button here you will see source 1 source 2 source 3 these are the options now let's connect this document visualizer with power cable and also hdmi cable at first you will see just display the documents on any external monitor or you can use a projector also so these are the cables you will see this is the power cable this is the hdmi cable i also have extra hdmi cable which is longer than this hdmi cable you can see your vga vga cable and this is the usb cable so that you can directly connect it with so that you can directly connect your visualizer with the laptop or your document or your computer so at first now connect the power cable this is the power cable connect this power cable to this 12 volt dc see now you can connect this to the any power point or you can also connect this to any usb now i have a an hdmi cable which is longer than the actual cable and it is connected with my external monitor so now i just want to connect this 
when HDMI out. So that simply just display the document on any external monitor or projector. I'm going to show you. Now, now let's power on this document visualizer. See, it has two LED lights on both sides. Now let's pull this stand. You see, you can just point this camera to this flat area where your documents will be there. Now I am going to put this document here. See. See. You can rotate like this. So that you can see clearly portrait person. You can also adjust the camera. You can also increase the brightness or decrease the brightness. Just press on the BRT plus button and you will see here. Just decreasing the brightness. See it's changing. You can use zoom also. See documents zooming. You can also zoom minus button. So you can directly display anything from document visualizer to uh, your external monitor through this HDMI cable and it will be connected to your HDMI output. Now let's uh, connect this uh, visualizer with USB cable to the laptop so that which will helpful to your video conferencing. On you is video, when you do video conferencing and that time you have to connect this document visualizer with your laptop to this through this usb cable so that the other participants can see the documents now let's connect usb port Now you can connect this USB port to this port. Now you can remove this. And keep this system. You can keep this LED light like this so that it will be keep visible clearly on your uh, laptop or external monitor or in video conferencing other participants can clearly view the documents now it is connected with your laptop and in your laptop you have to open camera Just we have to type camera here. Just click on the search. Just click on the search icon. And then type here camera. And then you will see camera here. And then click open. And now you have to change the camera here. See by default this is the inbuilt camera of the laptop. And now you have to change this camera here. Just click on this icon.
जस्ट वेट फॉर एवर सी यू विल सी द डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑन योर लैपटॉप You can also use this document visualizer for your online classes also. In school, you can also use it. It is a better document visualizer. Not better, it is. I think it is the best visualizer. I found it. You can easily control this from this control panel. Just zoom it. See. Just. To zoom the documents, you just need to tap on zoom button. Just tap on zoom. See, and it is zoom. You will see the zoom here. Now to decrease the zoom. Simply you just need to tap on minus zoom minus but tap. Just press and hold, and you will see zoom is decreased. You can also increase the brightness. Just tap and hold on the brightness, or simply tap like this. See, brightness is increases. You can also decrease the brightness. See, it is decreasing. You can also change the light, background light. You will see here. See, just LED light is off and background is on. This is light. So for that, you have to tap on this light button. This is the light button. You just need to tap on it. See, all light is off. Now to power on light, you just need to tap on this light button. See, this LED light is on. Now to turn off this LED light, simply tap on this light button. See, now background light is on glow. See, and you will see the effect on your laptop here, like this. Display appears here, like this. You can also switch off all light. Just tapping on the light button. You can also use auto, auto button. Auto button adjusts the light automatically. You can hear also negative button is also there. Let's see what happens. See. And you will see here on your display it appears like this. See, I press again negative and see. So you can do lot of things with this document visualizer. You can adjust it as per yourself. Now again, let's connect uh, this HDMI cable.
See, it's connected. And now you will see on this external monitor. See, so it appears like this. It is normal, it is negative, just again tap on negative, it becomes normal. So friends, thanks for watching this video, also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel. Thank you, thank you very much and friends how do you like this video? Also don't forget to like, comment and share. So once again I would like to thanks, thank you, thank you very much.